Welcome to Gloria's Platter. So today's dish is from Iran called Agush. I chose this dish for our monthly collaboration this month. I am excited to unbox my Dutch oven which I bought recently. It is pretty heavy and this would be my first experience using one. So let's take these out which are used for transporting. Before first use, you need to add water, bring it to a boil, discard the water, and wipe the Dutch oven clean. Full ingredients are listed in the description box. Remember to check out the rest of the collaborators' recipe contributions for this month. These ribs are large, meaty ones, so we won't be disappointed. I want to say a big thank you to Sandy of My Aggie's Kitchen for organizing these monthly collabs. Please join me in wishing Sandy a happy birthday. Speaking of birthdays, our son B is celebrating his birthday this weekend. Happy birthday, sweetheart! So now, place the meat in a large bowl, cover it with cold water until you prep the other ingredients. The addition of water is supposed to drain some of the blood that is in the meat and also a better taste. So let's dice the onion now. I have drained and discarded the water in which the meat was resting all this time. Add the short drips into the Dutch oven. Add water. Add garlic cloves. Add the diced onions. Add turmeric. I am cracking some black pepper now. Turning the heat on. When this starts to boil, reduce the heat to medium low and cook covered for two hours. In the meantime, let's prep the vegetables. Dice the bell pepper. I'm only using half of this. Choose nicely ripe red Roma tomatoes. If they are this color, leave it on the counter for a day or two to get a good red color. I will use chickpeas, which are canned. Feel free to use home cooked ones. Drain the water out. I hand picked these okra. This is how I select tender okra. If the tip breaks easily, then they are tender. Remove the tip and stem. If they are large, cut the okra into two inch pieces. Cut the tomatoes in half. Now I'm using Persian dried lime for the first time. 
I could not find gure, which are unripe sour grapes. I hope I pronounced it right. So here is my substitute. Soak the limes in hot water. I bought saffron, although it is optional. Saffron is quite expensive. This small container costs $16. Could you believe it? These are fresh and smell so good. Let's check the meat after two hours. Steam. The meat is so tender and falls off the bone. Off camera, I removed the bones and cut them into bite-sized chunks. Peel and cut the potatoes. Add the potatoes to the broth. Now I'm adding the chickpeas. In goes the drained Persian dried lime. Now the tomatoes and bell pepper. Let's add the okra. Turn the heat back on. Add salt to taste. I'm going to add tomato paste using a spoon to stir the tomato paste around the broth until it dissolves completely. Add the saffron. Now add the meat, bring it to a boil, reduce the heat to medium low, cover and cook for one hour. This is our son B holding a sheet of sangak, a type of flat bread. We will buy the fresh sangak to make tilit or broth soup. You may use pita bread instead of sangak. Look how long it is. This is a freshly made one and still warm to the touch. It is like a scarf with leopard print. No, I won't be wearing it. I will be eating it. <laughs> so we need bite-sized pieces for tilit. This whole sangha cost $3.50. I would use the rest tomorrow. Now let's check our Dutch oven to see how the agouche is coming along. Oh wow guys, this smells so delicious. I'm getting hungry. I don't know if I would be eating the Persian dried lime. Maybe I will discard it. So to serve a goosh, use a slotted spoon to transfer the solid pieces to a serving platter. Leave the broth in the pot for now. So there is about a cup and a half to two cups of broth here. While I pour it onto pieces of sangha, go ahead and smash that like button for me. I hope you will subscribe and return to Gloria's Platter soon. Please check my other videos too, okay?
Hi guys. So we are going to taste this agouche for you. And I have never eaten on camera, so this will be your first. And I have my son, B, joining me. Hi, everyone. And sh let's show what we are eating. I am going to eat the broth, and he is going to eat the meat. You want to go first? Mm -hmm. It's hot. Mm -hmm. It's steaming hot. Mm. Delicious. Delicious. Mm -hmm. What does it taste like? Like fruity with some veggies mixed in. Okay. What do you think of uh, the taste of okra in it? Are you okay with it? Yeah, it adds uh, flavor. Okay. Awesome. Let me see this one. Let me take a little bit of the broth. Mmm, good. Good. Way better than I thought it would be. Mmm, still hot. So we are going to call it a day. And we are going to have our dinner now. And I would like to wish my son a happy birthday. Thank you. Bye all. Thanks for watching.